Just a few decades ago, Charlotte was very different from the place we know today. How have we become America's 17th largest city, home to a dynamic downtown, an array of multinational companies, and major league sports? And why us? This is the story of the people who built modern Charlotte. What drove them? How they made it happen? Operating in a city astride both Carolinas and with no plantation-based aristocracy to limit their ambitions, the builders shared a common shorthand vision. Charlotte as better than Atlanta and without all the traffic. If you look back in the history of, of Charlotte and in Mecklenburg County, you look at the fact that we started out as somewhat of a textile town and somewhat of a distribution town. We were always a place that people knew about, but only as a small town of 60 to 80,000 at the turn of the century. We were never a big city. We didn't have a river. We, we didn't have mountains. We didn't have a coast. When I came here in, uh, as a reporter, there was a pulse in Charlotte that you couldn't get in any other city in North Carolina. Charlotte was a meritocracy. Anybody could come here if they were willing to work. The place was wide open to them. First, there were people who were accustomed to hard work because they came from small towns or farms where people worked hard physically, putting in the uh, proverbial full day's work for the full day's pay. Maybe everybody that's, that's a charlatan has a little bit of a chip on the shoulder wanting to be special. Uh, there's nothing wrong with a chip if it's positive. I had a chip on my shoulder and, and for me, Charlotte was not good for my business. I mean, I could have been in headquartered in Washington or Florida or Dallas, any place a major city would have been more helpful. I used to do business with New Yorkers who wouldn't come to Charlotte. I had to fly to Atlanta. They said, I'm not coming to Charlotte. You can't get a drink. They said, and you don't have a hotel. I said, well, you've stayed in a red carpet inn. You know, that's nice enough. People stay there. They said, Jim, if you have to go outside to get to your room, it is not a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I understood my drive was really not as much about quality as was if you're not in the top 25 in this country, nobody cares about you. When you're a top 25 city, guess what? You get an airport, you get uh, Neiman Marcus, you get Trader Joe's, you get Costco, you get everybody. You got to be a top 25 city. You can go back a couple generations and they were already thinking about it. They wanted to be a city. 